A beautiful start to the day today, so thought I'd take a little ride through the country and go visit our friends, Paul and Daniela. They're on their boat, play to live, up at a marina called Turtle Key. This place is literally in the middle of the jungle, and where they plan to store their boat for a few months while they return to Italy. And since they'll be leaving soon, I think it's time to move the lady. Turtle Key and visit uh, our friends over there. So David and family over there and Paul and Daniela are over there. So Paul and Daniela are getting ready to leave this, uh, what, next week? Yeah, they're flying back to Italy for a few months, leaving the boat somewhere. So we're going to go back and see them for a little bit before they leave. Um, so. We try to finish all the wood shop. Oh, all the wood shop. Uh, oh. Oh, the wood job. Wood jobs, yeah. Yeah, that we need to do. Yeah, we still got a ton of projects halfway finished on the bow. We just haven't had the heart or the energy to start finishing them yet. So <laughs> we've been uh, very professionally procrastinating. <laughs> so things are starting to pile up. But, oh well, it is what it is. Right now we're just going to enjoy a little cruise. Uh, it's not much wind, so it's going to be a little test of the motor. So fingers crossed that it makes it there. Otherwise, it's probably going to be a very long trip. Because under sail, I don't think we'll be moving very fast. But it should be about three hours or so. Three hours if the motor holds up. So we'll keep promise. Uh, fingers crossed for that. Other than that, yeah, we just say goodbye to Portobello for a little while. We'll be back here probably again next week. We leave the bike here at Francesco's. He's got care of it for us and looking after, and he's got keys in case he needs to go for a ride. So have fun, Francesco. And we will see them back here soon. For now, on to the next place down the coast.
destination. Almost there. Engine's okay. holding good. Okay. Uh, engine's holding at about 165 Fahrenheit, which is good. Within range. So happy about that. We're almost there, and I just checked the coolant level just to be safe, and they're right up, so no loss of coolant. There's no issues there, it's running smooth. So I just keep an eye on it. keeping the RPMs down. I'm not racing there or anything, I'm just trying to get there. Don't want to push the engine and have it explode on us. But yeah, that's uh, Turtle Key just up around that last island up there. Nikki, say hello. She had just. Breaking waves over there, that's crazy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they yeah, are very close to the reef. About, about a mile long, we have to go in behind it. This is the end uh, of Turtle Key, but we have all the reef outside, and we need to go beside to enter. the correct way if you, you can see Or outside of that last rock. You Auto. can see the navigation system and the chunk block. So far, so good. 
On that, I think we're going to take a little intermission. Why? Because after that last scene, I had a big reef come up right in front of the boat <laughs> that wasn't on my chart. So you could say we got a little busy and had to put the camera down. But before we get back to our afternoon, we just wanted to stop and say thank you so much to everybody who has helped with our GoFundMe. We couldn't believe that within 24 hours, you guys took us from 25% to 50% yeah. in the first day. I think we're even getting closer to 60% now, but we have a huge amount of names that we now have to add to our flag. <laughs> so that's going to keep us busy for the rest of this afternoon. Oh yeah. But we are, a lot. Thank you so much. You but right now, lot. we are going to honor our first donor. And that is mm -hmm. Paul and Rhonda mm -hmm. Gasper. Yeah. And they have a business in Toronto. It's Weedman and Christmas Decor in Toronto. So if you guys are in the Toronto area and need any services like that, we'll try and find a link for you. But that's the name of their business is Weedman and Christmas Decor in Toronto. We thank you guys so much. Thank you. Yeah, you'll always be our number one because, well, well, because you were number one. <laughs> <laughs> so we are going to put your name first on the flag. Little because they are a lot, you know. Rhonda. And Paul. Paul. Gasper. G-A-S. Thank you so much. Oh, there all we go. your super guys. The first name on the flag, Paul and Rhonda Gasper. Thank you so much, guys. We appreciate all the help that we've been getting, and we look forward to hearing from any of the rest of you. And if any of you guys that are already donors or anything have businesses that you would like us to mention, by all means, please just send them along for us because we are here to help everybody who's helping us also. So, no problem at all. And yes, I will say that a lot of you have been sending some great comments and feedback and even some tips as to, you know, things that we could look into, good options, some electric options, some hybrid options. Uh, we love those ideas, but they're a bit out of our price range. So, you know, to go electric, fully electric, mm, it's not really feasible at this point. I mean, to start out, by the time you do just the motor and the batteries, you're looking at about fifty dollars to $60,000. It's a much more expensive upgrade. So that's not really on our list right now. We don't have budget for that. Our biggest concern right now is just getting a working diesel so at least we don't have to worry about it overheating and dying every time we just try to go somewhere or get out of the way of a storm or anything like that. And yes, our preference is still to stick with something, you know, more simplistic in a diesel. And we actually had one of the diesel manufacturers that was on our list get in touch with us already. So that's very cool. We're looking forward to talking to them. I'm not going to say too much more past that because we don't know what will happen from here. But we are looking at several options and just waiting to start talking to them directly this week and see what we can figure out. What's going to thank be the, you, thank you, our patron. What's going to be the best us. option for a sophisticated lady? Yeah, thank you. Meantime, we've been getting a ton of really cool stuff sent to the boat from some of you and some new suppliers, sponsors, and things like that. And I'm dying to check some of this stuff out. But look at this, guys. This is one of my favorites. I can't wait to try. Let me see if I can get this open. It's a pretty big ugh, box. <laughs> yeah. But I've been getting a lot of new stuff like this sent to us and this is a brand new waterproof drone that is meant for search and rescue. It has night vision, it has payload release, <laughs> it has so much cool stuff you can't even imagine it. It even comes with this device which is an emergency payload release device for search and rescue and you can see it has an automatic deploying. It's just like an emergency life vest, just like the ones that we wear when we're offshore. If you fall in the water, it automatically deploys and inflates. So you can drop this thing from the bottom of this drone. I can't wait to test some of this stuff. It's going to be very cool. And we have a bunch more on the way also. So we're going to see a lot more of Captain Rick's tech time coming up in the near future mm -hmm. as well. So look forward to that. And thank you very much to Swell Pro for sending this. Not only is this a world first production drone, they're giving us a world first review. So they're waiting for me to test it as long as I do it very soon. Yeah, <laughs> so hopefully. We yeah. got to get to this bad boy real soon. So I think you're going to hear some more about it in the near future. But anyway, thanks again to everybody. We're going to get back to our afternoon now. And today you're going to enjoy just a little bit of cruiser get together. We're going to meet up with our friends here in Turtle Key Marina mm. and just have a nice potluck lunch. So you get to witness that while the girls are having fun making homemade ravioli. Yeah. <laughs> so, two thumbs up. So enjoy the show, and we'll see you at the end. Ciao. Ciao. Incluso toda tu música sin anuncios. Descubre el poder de premium. Haz clic en el banner para obtener más información.
It is like a factory. <laughs> it looks so, yeah. You guys got a big process going on. Pretty cute, actually. So if I take a white hose out and put it put in a bucket with water and it works, then but, it's the through valve. But for these, we No, no then it's the, 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 the white toilet bowl. bowl. Oh, then it's toilet bowl. Oh, okay. Is oh, is the white is the is the is the white tube? That's the exit to the holding pump. The white tube from the toilet goes to the toilet bowl. Right. White tube goes to the toilet bowl. It comes oh. off the pump, goes to the top of the toilet. It's an elbow. Oh, okay. But if Take it pumps it out of there, give it a pump. If it water comes out, it's a toilet bowl. Let's see. All right, I get it now. Okay. <laughs> Ten second diagnosis. All right, good, good, good. You know, if I was in the United States, I could get a brand the new system. The chaos of living on a sailboat. For only 200 bucks. <laughs> in Panama. The Japs go, <laughs> toilet, and everything. I can buy a brand new Some one of our good friends bucks. on board wow. and making a nice lunch. Yes, this is lunch. All the ladies preparing some ravioli, tortelli. What are you making? Ravioli. 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 And going to do some kind of a barbecue or something. So we're doing over a hot pot. The, They're oh. doing pizza and we're doing shumai. Yeah. Ah, so Paul and Danielle are doing pizza. Mm-hmm. David and Jeannie are doing shumai. And Peter will buy the beer. Peter will buy the beer. <laughs> Peter will buy the beer. And yeah, Peter's Madalena and the ladies are yeah. doing the ravioli. Well, he doesn't want Sounds to like it should be he an interesting potluck so. lunch. Can't wait to see the finished product. <laughs> he doesn't have to, but you know, I mean... Mm. What, you want this, Peter? Mmm, yum. This is very long process, like a snake. Yeah, yeah. okay. Also, oh, honey, um, oh, What do you want to say? <laughs> yeah. Bring your credit card in case we need to settle up to when we eat lunch. <laughs> I need to, um, settle up before we leave tomorrow morning. Sure. <laughs> Typical cruiser conversation. <laughs> You'll be in that one for sure. If I got a baby marina. <laughs> Caesar. Easy. Ma va a scucciare la vale. Sorry. You make a lot of ravioli. We have seven, seven people? Si. Seven people. We got an assembly team going on. I think we have eight, don't we? <laughs> One, two, three, four, eight. Me, Chris, and Peter. Too much. And Eliado. And then there's two. And then there's two. Well, if that's the case, then there's nine. Eight. Then there's nine. If you're adding someone else, you're adding nine. Yeah, eight. No, nine. Labrado will be nine. You may add a nine. Yes. Labrado. So let me know when you want me to go set up the um, the, the electrical cursor. Don't worry. I can go anytime. Will the electric pressure really work? Yeah. For this? Yeah. It looks oh, like I know what I'm water. doing, doesn't it? Because like we have another extension cord, we can also use that. So we have three things. I couldn't just sit there, man. I had to cook. I never use it like for boiling, but we can... Oh, more work. Let's stop. Let's go. <laughs> this is in three minutes already. Yeah, then get going. Okay. Spin. Don't need um, a lot of time to She's cook Italian. It. you got to stay okay. on top of her. She'll okay. just keep talking and talking and stop working. Oh, what? Canadian. Italians do that? <laughs> Canadian. What? Yeah. I was part of the fun. You speak it because you are in a bar. Yeah, you have a, your company here. I do. Yeah. I mean, haven't changed though from day one, have well, I? Wait, no, 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 I'm, not, I'm not Canadian. No, I'm not Canadian. That's not try true. Yeah. <laughs> you look Canadian. Oh, yeah, right. You're so funny. <laughs> no, actually, what's funny is a lot of Canadians are Chinese now. You need to learn and in Italy, like in Spain, you have a lot of words, a lot of articles, a lot of, it's more complex than Isn't language. Fun? And for... I like doing this, so much fun. Talk to you the same phrase. Talk shit, enjoy yourself. You like the Chinese when we do the dumplings. In Italy, ah, I done the dumplings. Yeah. It's more long. Um, I grew up with a buddy who put, helped put me through school, couldn't he? Because I didn't have too much weight back then. And, uh, That's all we do. We, we go and cook dumplings. a lot. Eat he learned dumplings. very well from uh, the mom of Daniela. <laughs> so, mama. Mama me. One more week till mama. <laughs> yeah.
fresh to your telly. Fresh pasta. It's amazing. Okay, when are we finish? You uh, you need to take. A, I give you a tupperware. You put inside and you put in a freezer. Okay. Do you have a freezer? No, but I have a bottom of this coal. Yeah. Um, Paul, please, you put some uh, semola. Is inside here. This is it? Up. Ah. The amateur picture makers use this. See, see, see. Yeah. Here, come, Brandy. And it's almost finished. And she lives in this house, is 200 years old. It's okay. Basically a monastery. You can switch um, off. Like the, the, so old, you, it's just hard to describe. <laughs> this is for you, brother. Who? Enjoy. Me? Schubert. Schubert. <laughs> there you go, man. That's for you, Schubert. That's my communication back home, boys. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that looks young. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. it's with cheese, uh, basil. I'm almost yeah. half full, though. The problem is, I'm, I'm really not the hungry Because you eat very, very fast. Yeah, we, already ate the, <laughs> we already ate the shumai, we already ate the pizza. I know, but it's your fault. We had friends from Germany come up and spend five days in our backyard. But the honest truth yeah, is, yeah, I mean, life is good. And they drove away. He's when not, you're not hungry, right, I do. Oh, life yeah. is good. I mean, when, if you're if you're thinking yeah, about right. where your next meal is coming from it's and you're hungry, yeah. you're that's state. a pretty so poor old. living. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, it really is. But that's why I always say, yeah. if you have to worry about what in, in the next country, meal is coming from, I'm ready, then you don't have to, you know, worry about it. No, no, it's new. But back then, so it's, Thank you. Uh, yeah, enough for fun. the moment. And it's wow. cool. Ravioli. Wait, do you want to wait? Take the no clean, no clean the dish and change the flavor. Um, he's going to put more uh, no. Peter? hot sauce. Yeah. Do it once. You won't be served. Yeah, I would do that. Yeah. That boy good. loves uh, to so eat. My Don't worry. Sent me a yeah, that's not good. Thank you. Sure. We want Peter. to come visit with you. We want to live Peter. with you. Ginny. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. Looking forward. That's bon good. Thank you. Bon appetito. Butter and bacon. You can't go wrong with butter and bacon. Those are two things that no matter what you do, you cannot go wrong with. Oh my God, it's so good. Paul, no? No. Debbie, no. <laughs> Paul? Test, <laughs> Debbie, test it's if hot. you... Oh, well, I oh have my no God. Look at that. It's a picture perfect. Paul. Mm. Want some more shoe mm. I'm good for me. What about Rick? What about Rick and you? Oh, Rick just a couple for me. Paul doesn't like veggie stuff. <laughs> oh, that white meat, <laughs> meat and red sauce, man. That's it. He's very. Do you like white sauce? White sauce is good too. I love yes. white sauce. Can you, and, uh, you white give sauce? me my, my plate, please, Woo! David? This is for. Alright. All right. Lunchtime.
it's impossible to hide Oh, we can go across the oceans and see the world tonight Oh, say hello to the mountains and watch the new sunrise But no matter what the country, the city, the street By land or by sea, together forever is my favorite place to be This is Madalena's project. <laughs> we had to take our cabin roof top off of here because our sliding hatch broke and was starting to grind horribly so we couldn't open the hatch anymore. So we opened this whole thing up. Madalena's already cleaned it all out, cleaned off all the screw holes, covering them with fresh silicone. But to get this off, we had to remove the Durad cover and redo all of it because it was leaking water also. So well, that's today's projects. Wow. <laughs> Much big. Stay low. Oh. Yeah. Miss Maddie, hard at work here. Yeah. Doing a good job. Thank you, Maddie. Oh, you are well, very doing well. <laughs> I don't want too much water inside during the travel in the rainy season. And this is for yeah. sure. Yeah, we've had some pretty good leaks. Yeah, and the sound, the door, it was horrible yesterday. Very horrible. Yep, enough to grind your teeth. Yeah. Well, it's very hard. It's, uh, we have all this silicone, but it's broken too. It's not working well. Oh, well, we'll get a new one. I, wait, I need to wait them, them dry now a little bit for put this glue. Right, Capita? Uh-huh. 